A crowd gathered outside a Santee YMCA last week over concerns about a transgender woman using the locker room. Tonight, Kristen Wood spoke to the city council for the first time, and after that, both supporters and people with concerns about her using the woman's locker room address the council as well. Our Kasha Gorchik heard the emotional messages from both sides and is live tonight with more. Kasha. And Kathleen, there was nothing formally on the city council agenda about this topic this evening. However, Kristen Wood felt it was time to finally speak up for herself in the same place that 17-year-old Rebecca Phillips first brought attention to this issue, which has since received national attention. Wood was met with a lot of supporters, but also some critics. The amount of organized hatred and lies to vilify and demonize me and other members of the transgender community has truly been disheartening and disgusting. The burning debate over whether Kristen Wood, a transgender woman, should have been allowed to use a women's locker room at the local YMCA continued at a city council meeting in Santee. I'm identifying tonight as Christy Lynn Wood, so I have three minutes. This is war. This is a war on women, children, and the truth. Former Miss California and San Diego native Carrie Prejean was among those sharing intense criticism. So here's what needs to happen tonight. You guys, while you still have your b do something about it. This is what happens in a cult. This is what happens. This is a cult. What I just listened to was incredibly disrespectful, incredibly hateful, and this woman has the audacity to call herself a Christian. Wood was surrounded by friends and also members of the LGBTQ community who came to support her after a 17-year-old girl garnered national attention for saying she felt unsafe seeing a man in the women's locker room. When Chrissy left, the young girl opened up the shower curtain and asked me if that was a man. I said, no, that's a woman. So I assume she didn't see anything who Chrissy was. Wood says she is a fully transitioned female with no male anatomy. They need to prove to me in the community that this person has been sexually reassigned or transgendered, if you will. For those people who are calling to see people's genitalia, I want to see your browser histories because it seems like you're quite obsessed with this. Please look at me. Listen to the sound of my voice. I am a threat to no one. In the year I've been a member of the Y, children have attended summer camp and have been with their parents and grandparents in the women's locker room with me, and there has never, ever been an incident, ever, not until one was manufactured using this forum to do so. The mayor of Santee says he has met with the YMCA and the city's legal team to make sure everyone feels safe and valued in this community. The YMCA says it values the same things. Reporting live in Santee tonight, Kasha Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News.